Good morning, everybody. It's Janet coming to you live from my house. I am in my staircase. Um, let me not pull out the step here. Um, we live in a renovated cottage and we have what's called captain stairs. So we basically have a hole in our floor and we have spiral stairs that go down to the basement. Um, so I am painting the railing. I've painted this, is this the third time I've painted this, I think? Um, so this was white and blue. So this was white and this was blue and I did like it, but um, I, I did something to the top. I, um, I left something wet on it and it pulled the paint off. So I was like, oh, I'm going to paint this. And I thought maybe I would try and kind of match it to the wall a bit more but because the wall is so many different colors. I wasn't really sure um, what I wanted to do. So I'm painting it in Goddess Ashwagandha, which is my absolute favorite gray. I always have a container of it open. If Greg wants to just pan over to our pantry, um, the bear pantry, it is Goddess Ashwagandha as well. Just a really beautiful, rustic, soft gray. Um, it just goes with everything. It, it's, it accents things really nicely. So I painted that, I think, what, last summer or summer before? <laughs> So these have, the first time I did it, it was with house paint. So I'm just painting over the old paint. Um, you don't need to put anything down for that unless you find that the substrate isn't adhering and then you can add a product called Ultra Grip. Um, so it's a bonding agent. How you'll know if it's not uh, adhering is it'll do what's called lacing and the paint will spread out like that. So basically you'll know if the paint's not adhering to the surface. So anyone asking any questions? Okay, so I've got my brush and I'm just painting. So the, this has the first coat on it and the first coat always looks kind of, it looks like hell, like it's just the way it is, but like you can already see the difference between the two, like when you start putting the second coat on. So here, here's the first coat and then that's the second coat. So you can see, like, you don't think it's going to cover on the second coat because it's like, how could it? But it does. So this is a color that um, has really good coverage. So if you're starting out, I had somebody yesterday reach out to me because they were just going crazy with their project and they wanted to give up. And they chose the casement as their first project. And it's just a tougher color coverage-wise. Um, it just, going dark to light, um, it has uh, higher amount of pigments in it, so it just takes a few more coats with casement, but the majority of Fusion's paint is usually within two coats. So I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> on your brush and it just it's just such a small thing that transforms the space really quickly such a nice grounding color and it also had bunny chews on it someone's been chewing this hmm who could that be he was on the floor sleeping but I don't know where he went He's been so cute this weekend. He keeps like jumping up on me and like snuggling and stuff. It's it's very cute. So I feel like he's building up to like be a nightmare next week. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it while it's here because he's very cute. Um, any other questions about painting the staircase? I don't know. What materials are you painting on there? I can't tell because it's all covered in paint. Metal. Metal? Metal. And what else? The wood? This is just drywall, I think. Isn't it? No, that was MDF. We had to put that there because it was oh, unfinished. It was open. Yes. Yeah, we had to cut and put okay. all those on there. I thought it was um, drywall. Um, what, else, what else is here? I know it's metal. What else is here? Oh. Well, I guess the top is wood, too. Oh, you think the top's wood? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tapping sometimes helps you figure out what stuff is. <laughs> mm. um, it's, it, it, I 
I've never had a problem with it um, like staying on um, other than where it's been chewed and where I had water and I left it on there. I don't know what it was. I left something on the top of it and it pulled it. Probably wet clothes to dry. Is it wet clothes? Probably yeah, a bathing suit or something. Bathing suit? <laughs> cleaner, just something all one color instead of having the two-tone, which, like I said, I did like the two-tone, I just kind of was wanting something new. So I don't put very much paint on the brush. You don't need a lot of paint with Fusion. If you're new to Fusion and you've ever, so if you've ever used another kind of furniture paint, say you've used a chalk paint, I just tell people forget everything you know about chalk paint when you're using Fusion because it's completely the opposite. Um, it is use less of it. It's thinner. Um, it has a built-in hard coat, so you don't have to wax it. You can wax it when it's done for extra durability. I'm gonna go down my stairs here. <laughs> so where you're gonna get your durability from if you're painting? Um, surface is your um, prep and your curing. So prep is you want to sand it so you dull the shine of your project um, or you can sand it right down with a orbital electric sander. Um, and then curing is 21 to 30 days so in that time you want to leave it untouched. You don't want to put anything on top of it. I'll recommend putting like a towel or something on it for that time so it has the chance to fully cure and then you can put stuff on it easily. This metal railing was already painted when we started. So. It was. Look, it was it was green, wasn't it? Or no, it was black. This house is was strangely dark for such a small space. It was a mixture. The railings were black, but that post down there was green or something. Yes. It, it was, was different colors. And then so was the kitchen. It was like half and half. It was like maroon and blue. And it was like, what's with all the two-toning? Like, um, two-tone that like was really dark. It just, this is such a small space. Um, I'm not sure why. That's something like if you're looking to choose a color, I mean, if you're looking to kind of make your space feel bigger, I would definitely go lighter. Um, or do like a contrast, like if you are thinking of using black, maybe do a black and white. Just kind of like a lighter against this kind of very, I have this accent wall. So it's nice to have something, maybe one color. Can you still see me if I go down another step? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm slowly disappearing. So because it was already painted, the only prep we had to do was clean it. Yes. So cleaning and sanding is really what you need to have for all of your projects. Um, unless you're having an adherence issue even with that. And then I would use the Ultra Grip if it's a non-wood surface. Metal, plastic, all the things. All right. So just quickly see how easily you can, and it's here, <laughs> how easily you can make something over very inexpensively if you've got time on your hands. Fusion is such a user-friendly paint, like there's not a lot of instructions other than clean, sand, paint. There really isn't much more than that. Um, if you are having any issues, you can always contact me and I can talk you through it. If you'd like me to create a starter kit for you, I can do that. I'm getting more brushes this week, so I do have some in stock, but I am getting uh, more. If you see a color out of stock, um, I think there's like six of them right now, they are on the way. Um, so sometime next week, if you are looking for anything in particular, it says sold out. Um, just keep checking, and uh, it should be back in in the next little while. So, does anyone have any questions, comments? Okay. Do you have any? <laughs> um, hopefully, that answered any of your um, troubleshooting questions that you may have had. If you're having any issues, 
um, with anything or were like curious how to start. Um, curbside pickups are 11 to 1, Tuesday through Saturday. You can order from the website at theftboutique.com. I'm like in a zone now. And it's actually, if you are looking to do something that, you know, if you're having a hard time with what's going on right now, this is incredibly calming. Like I actually just zoned out there for a second um, and forgot that I was being filmed. So it's just, it's really fun, um, uh, rewarding thing that you can do to pass the time. All right, so I'm gonna keep going on my staircase and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day, bye.